Bill, the Portland Trailblazers in game two. Attempted 35 shots, hit 25 of those. 70 on Tuesday and did a marvelous job on Carl Malone on the defensive end. Malone. Everything on the front of the rim for Portland. Stoudemire back to the rack. Pippen again keeps it alive. Wallace with second helpings up and in. Has had great success at coming back from deficits. Here's Wallace in the paint, and that is bad news for the Utah Jazz. Of Waller, two man play. In on the block, Rasheed Wallace. Wallace feeling Malone on his hip, spins away from the pressure, and the fall away jumper is good. And again, the great extension by Rasheed Wallace. You see. When Rasheed Wallace backs him in, backs him in. Now, Carl Malone has developed into the one of the top defensive players, a regular on the all defensive team, but he's not going to get up in the air and block shots. He's going to strip you down low. So now both Brian Russell and Eddie Pippen have one field goal and three shot at just beautiful. Oh! Who's wide open? Rashid is wide open while five Jazz stand in the paint. Quick timeout. Falling apart for the Jazz here. Monty Wells. Everybody thinking he's just going to shoot. Rashid Wallace slips to the basket. Blazers by 14. Big. You have to see man and ball. They're just riveted on Monty Wells, ready to help out Jeff Hornacek. And that allows Rashid Wallace a wide open slip. First half struggles continue for the Jazz. Oh, a turnover. Another one. The sixth of the ball game, and again, an un maybe come and win a game. But they're going to have to get the same production out of Robinson and out of Penny, get better out of Jason Kidd, and then hope Longley and Rodney Rogers can make some shots. Wallace goes up and under with a spin move. It's counting. Count An 11 to 3 Blazer run on the goaltending call against Russell. And the Blazers now getting to the line. They are 10 of 11 in the early shoot. Malone rolling. He'll touch, he'll shoot. He's slammed to the floor by Smith. Malone, Smith glares at Malone. Meantime, the Jazz head up the floor defensively, but it's Wallace beating him to the rack for the lay-in. Incredible organization on display, led by their great leader, Jerry Sloan.